Hello everyone. Welcome once again to our Crossroads Noontime devotional here. And uh, this week it's on small groups. The previous Sunday message, there's a link here. I encourage you to click on it and go watch. But it was about small groups and the scripture was from Acts chapter 2. And today I'm going to try to speak very plainly to all of you. I pray that, I don't know if this is going to convict you or encourage you or both, but whatever. Here we go. Um, the Lord is speaking again. It's time. It's time. It's time for those who are in the body of Christ to go from being observers to participants. And part of that participation is being part of a small group or a home group. I'm going to use the word home group because the church met in homes, you know, in, in Acts and Romans and Colossians and many of the letters Paul wrote, the apostle Paul wrote, he wrote greetings to, you know, so-and-so and to the church that is meeting in your house. See, we are the church. This is just a building. It's a church building is what it is. And we go to a church service, right? So these things are important to understand. And it's time. The Lord is speaking again. It is time. Look at the season we just went through. What if we had 30, 40 home groups going at the time? We would never skip a beat. We wouldn't have people missing. Oh, I miss fellowship and I miss all these things. No, we would have just kept right on and going, right? So it's time. And I want to encourage you both that you can be you know, attend a small group, home group, or you can open your home and be a leader, be a facilitator. Just open your home, pick a day and a time and go with it. Um, you know, I was blessed to be a part of a home group when I first got saved in 2013. And this thing went for about six years. We met on Wednesday nights. We met at 6.30. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes we didn't leave until one and two in the morning. That's how powerfully the Lord was moving. We saw salvations, healings, um, deliverance, all kinds of different things. And I grew, I mean, I didn't even know how to pray. I didn't grow up in the church. I didn't know anything about anything. We had great teachers. I learned the word of God. I learned to hear the voice of God in that group clearly. It was a blessing to me. And I went on to be who I am partly because of those people who were part of that group. And, and the people who are in that group or were a part of that group have all gone on to do their own things in ministry. They are worship leaders. Some of them have opened their own home groups now. The pastors that came out of there, teachers, preachers, apostles, prophets, all church planters, um, you name it. They're all serving the Lord mightily these days. And like I said, some of them still have their own small groups and it's a good thing. So there's so much to be gained and it's time to prepare spiritually because this thing could happen again. It probably will happen again. You know, I... I was a co-leader of a Monday night ministry that's still going on. I left there a couple years ago, but for five years, I preached almost every Monday night. And through 2015, 2016, and 2017, the Lord kept impressing on me, tell the people to open their homes, get home group started, encourage people to do this. Guess what? Almost no one did it. Thousands of people heard those messages, heard the word of the Lord saying, it's time then, and didn't do it. Just imagine if many of those people would have heeded the word of the Lord and opened their home at that time. How much different things would have been when this weirdness came in 2020, right? So I believe, again, God is giving us another chance. He's warning us, but he's encouraging us all at the same time. It's time to open our homes. So there's two things you can do. You can seek out a small group that already exists and be a part of it. But I encourage you, if you have a place to meet, if you have a home, a townhouse, an apartment, doesn't matter. A, a great room at your, you know, your party room at your complex, whatever it is, pick a day and a time and start. You know, we're here to help you. I'm here. I offer my help. I offer my help today. That, you know, you don't have to know how to do everything. You don't have to know how to preach. You don't have to know how to sing songs. God will bring those people. If you would just open your home. Be a facilitator. Say, I'm here. Please come. Invite the neighbors. Whatever you need to do. And God will bring the right people to teach the word and pray and sing songs and do all of that. But I'm here to offer my help. And I know Pastor Paul, Pastor Deb, much of the leadership here at Crossroads will help you. Um, if you're in another country, if you're in another state, go to your pastor. Go to your church leadership and say, do we have small groups? I'd like to be a part of one. If there isn't that opportunity... Say, Pastor, can you help me start a group in my home? I'd really like to do this. And by God's grace, I'm sure he would do that. Or reach out to me, Facebook, email, text, whatever you have to do. 
get a hold of us here at Crossroads and we will walk with you. We can do some of this even via, you know, technology these days. We don't have to be in person, but for those of you who are local, we can. We can come. We can pray with you. We can set up a plan. We can help invite. We can walk with you and be there until you're comfortable to take it on your own. But it's time, people. It is time to get doing this. You will be blessed. You will be able to bless others. You'll be a blessing in your community. The kingdom of God will go forth. And when weird things start to happen, we'll still have a place to gather, right? That's one of the biggest blessings of all of this, right? And I know, hey, we're all busy. I get it, you know. Jason, you don't understand. I have work and I have the family and I have this thing and I got to be at the place at the time with the guy for the thing and you don't get it. I get it. I'm very, we're all busy. But you know what I've come to realize? We make time for what's important. And this is important. Not just in this season, but going forward. This is vital, vital to the success of the church, of the body of Christ for us. And once again, we offer our help. Please get a hold of us in any way that you can and we will walk you we will walk with you through this so i pray this encourages you it's time time to be a participant and not an observer anymore god wants you to get involved heavenly father we thank you we praise you for this day thank you for this message i pray that you would raise up uh open homes that you would start to open homes and raise up leaders and facilitators and participants and that people who don't have a small group, home group to go to, that you'll create one that they can go to. And for those that are available, that we will all take personal responsibility to find out where people are meeting and go to that place, that we can be a blessing to them just as much as they are a blessing to us, Lord. So we thank you for the privilege once again. May we as leaders be equipped and trained to help others and encourage others in this. And we just thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed, everyone.